Hello, hello, it's me. I am wearing the most colourful and happy jumper I could find because I'm here to cheer you up, guys, this week. Today is day number three of design week. It's quarantine and chill. It's distracting ourselves from the weird situation in the world. So what I am doing is a Raw Wednesday. Those of you who have followed me for maybe over two years, you will probably remember Raw Wednesday. I used to do it at uni. And basically the principle is I sit and talk nonsense and cut very little out. If I stumble on my words, I'm probably not gonna cut it out. If I say something stupid, probably not gonna cut it out. So it's raw, it's a Wednesday. I hope you are gonna enjoy this little chassis video. And if you haven't seen the other two um, videos I've uploaded already this week, I will leave them in a little playlist link in the click -li clickable eye button. I can never work out which side the eye button's on. I think it's this side? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but we'll get straight into it. I ask for questions on Instagram as always and I've screenshot and saved the ones that I thought were worthy of answering and good and fun and relatively interesting. So let's go. I have been sat in silence in my office for the past three hours so I might be a little bit cray cray. So first question, which I thought was a lovely one to start things off is how are things and how are you doing? Thank you so much for asking. Amy actually asked that question and I'm actually, I'm good. I had a bit of a rough week last week. I'm not really sure what it was. I just couldn't get out of the meh kind of headspace. I was just feeling low and down and like there wasn't really any point in doing anything. Like I just, it was in that headspace. Everyone knows what that's like. However, this week I've sort of set it as my personal mission to uplift myself, uplift you guys and create content because that's what I really like doing. And I do think I needed that break last week. I didn't upload last week at all. I literally did basically nothing for the whole week. I sat and scrolled on TikTok. I just did barely anything and it was great. Um, but I think we need that sometimes. So how am I doing? I'm doing much better, um, but yeah, I I have my down days and I felt a bit rubbish and I'm sure I will again, but I'm happy that I am in this creative mood at the minute, basically. So yeah, I'm very good. Thank you for asking. Okie doke. Sort of on the same line is how are you coping after your breakup? So I mainly, <laughs> I'm just so bored on the weekends and I didn't realise how much I relied on my boyfriend and my relationship to get out and do fun things, which is inevitable. Obviously, you're gonna have more of an active social life when you're with someone, because there's someone to share it with. But I think because I spend every single day in this office, in my house, I work from home, and then it gets to the weekend. And generally, like if I had a normal nine to five job, I'd be quite happy spending my Sunday in, watching films and doing nothing, kind of chilling, cooking yourself some dinner, or in my case, my mum cooking my dinner because I still live with my parents. Um, I get to the weekends and I'm like, it's the same as it has been. I just don't have any work to distract me. So that is the thing I'm struggling with the most. I'm quite happy living the single life, to be honest, but I'm just bored. Um, so maybe that's why I'm deciding to do all this work this week. Um, I'm keeping myself busy with work. I'm going to put my head down and work on some new Soul and Fire products. Um, so yeah, I am coping the breakup fine. I was sad for maybe like the first week or so, but I think it was inevitably going to happen. Um, so I've got no anger. I've not got really much sadness anymore. I do miss hanging out with my ex. Like we were friends, obviously, but it was the right decision and we're both quite happy and we can still chat when we want to. So yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy about it. <laughs> Another question as well linked into it. Do you love single life? I can't say I love it, but I'm very much enjoying the fact that I don't have to think about anyone else. This is my time to be selfish. Um, I'm still adjusting to the whole, whole like not having anything to do on the weekends. I quite enjoyed sort of putting my laptop down, going to my boyfriend's house for the weekend and not thinking about work again until Monday. It sort of helped me have a routine. So at the minute, I guess I'm sort of adjusting to a new routine more than anything. But yeah, I'm living single life. I'm liking being selfish. <laughs> um, and another question all linked together. I've tried to kind of categorize things 
is my thoughts on online dating apps such as Tinder and Bumble. Have you or would you use them? So you might not know because I haven't really mentioned it anywhere, but I actually met my ex-boyfriend on Tinder. We were together for just over a year and I sort of am resigned to the fact that that's probably how I'm going to meet someone. I work from home. I'm not going to just bump into someone. I don't like have office romances or anything like that. I work by myself. The only time I'd probably bump into someone is maybe in the supermarket, but who even like approaches people in the supermarket anymore? I'd find that kind of weird. Um, maybe if I went to a pub or something. But yeah, I, I live my whole life online. So I've always, for the past few years, I've always said I'm probably going to meet my soulmate, whoever I'm going to spend the rest of my life with online. I mean, I'd be quite happy for someone to just approach me and we click and get on like that. But the nature of me being the socially anxious, awkward person that I am, I feel like online just makes sense to me. So yes, I have used Tinder and I have used Bumble. I've been on dates for both from both apps. There's some very weird people out there, but that just is life. Um, so yeah, I think it's a good, good modern way of dating, to be honest. All right, enough dating talk. Let's have a look at some other questions. So I got, how do you deal with people that have the mindset that you don't have a real job? So I used to struggle with this. Um, it wasn't in like a malicious way, but my family members used to think just because I was sat on my laptop, I wasn't necessarily working, like you can't really see that I'm working. And they'd be like, Alice, could you come and do this quickly? Could you come and do this quickly? And it was sort of like, that was one of the tricky things of working from home initially because it doesn't look like I'm doing that much work, you know? It's all on a laptop screen. You can't really see it unless I'm sat filming like this. Um, but more like it really quickly, my family sort of understood that I am busy and I am working and yeah, I can come and meet you for lunch, but I do have to go back home and carry on working. Otherwise I'm going to be working until like 11 p.m. The sun has just come out. I love that. <laughs> Um, in terms of other people thinking I don't actually wait just kind of going back my family never thought it wasn't a real job it was sort of accepting the fact that it's just a different structure and I and if I can't come out in the middle of a week on a Wednesday it's not because I'm being rude it's because although I'm self-employed I still do need to do my job and I do need to set myself some sort of hours like they know I have flexibility and I know I have flexibility but we've got to work together you know and my friends are kind of like that too but they've always known it's been a real job. Any kind of job where you earn money is a job. It doesn't matter if I'm not a doctor or a dentist or whatever, a lawyer. I'm earning money. If I'm doing something that earns me money, that classifies as a job. Simple as that. That's what I've always thought. And if someone online who I don't know and don't really care about thinks that it's not a real job, I don't care because you have zero significance in my life. Um, and it's took a lot for me to get to that sort of mindset thinking that if you've got no importance in my life Why should I care? Um, and still some comments do still hurt me sometimes But I've kind of just become numb to it Which is quite sad the fact that I've just kind of had to get used to it rather than people being called out for being Idiots, you know, but oh well that is the life <laughs> um, Okay, I've got a couple of businessy questions. I love it when the Sun comes out and ruins everything like why? um how did you previously balance business with school? Um, my job was sort of part time, I guess, whilst I was at uni. I've just always been very organized. I always have my calendar with me. My calendar syncs to my laptop and my phone. If I don't put something in my calendar, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna forget that thing exists. I can wake up in the morning and not know what I'm doing and then I'll look at my phone and it makes sense. The lighting in this video is going crazy, sorry. Um, so balancing it was really just organisation. If I needed to wake up early and if I needed to stay up late to get things done, I did. And I quite enjoyed it, to be honest, because I like my job. So to me, coming home from uni and then filming, editing, uploading a video was actually kind of a break from uni. It wasn't like, in my head, it wasn't more work. So I guess that's kind of how I balanced it. Just organisation, planning ahead, making sure what I was doing was something I enjoyed. I know sometimes that's not necessarily something you can control, but you can find enjoyment in even like boring things, you know? Not all the time, but try and sort of have a positive mind, positive mindset if it's in that situation. Um, but yeah, organization, that is key. The lighting, shall I turn my light on? Hang on, let me get my light. All right, I've just moved one of my lights over here so we're a little bit better lit. Um, 
tips on finding my first clients or just starting out as a freelancer in general. I'm not gonna completely answer this in this video because I've made so many different videos about this. Again, I will leave it in the clickable eye button, whichever side it is on and in the description, but tips on finding your first client, um, call it out. If you've got Facebook, tell your friends that you're starting this new business. You'd love to help someone out. If anyone's interested, let me know. And then you can start off at a bit of a discounted rate. Um, don't be afraid to charge people if it's gonna be time consuming and if it's taken away from your regular nine to five job, then you should charge something. Um, but I did quite a lot of favors for people when I first started out because I wasn't confident enough or qualified enough, I guess, or qualified enough, still not really qualified to charge. But as you kind of go on, you'll develop a bit of a portfolio and then the next client that you get, you can kind of show them what you've already done and then gradually it should hopefully kind of get bigger. But I have explained this a lot more in another video, so I will leave that linked in the description because it's already uploaded and I don't want to be repeating myself all the time because it gets boring for you guys. So, yeah. Um, okay. Have you ever had to let go of an unhealthy friendship? Yes. And sometimes it kind of happens unintentionally. Like you kind of, I'm really bad at texting. Anyone that is friends with me in real life knows I am awful at texting. <laughs> um, but I will answer eventually. However, I feel like those friendships that I have kind of let go, it sort of started with me accidentally ghosting you or them ghosting me. And then you kind of just stop messaging as much. Most of my friends don't live locally anyway, so I wouldn't ever really bump into them. It was the kind of friendship that you had to arrange to see them. It's not like at school when you used to see your friends every day. Um, so I guess there's been unintentional like drifting apart of friendships, no real drama or anything, but it kind of just worked out like that. And then there's definitely been situations where I've recognized that this person isn't healthy for me. They don't bring me happiness. They don't make me feel great, which is what a friend should do. They aren't there for me like I am there for them. So then I've made the conscious decision to be like, I don't want you in my life anymore, which is a crap decision to have to make because I'm the kind of friend that once I'm in, I'm in, like I'll tell you everything you need to know and I'll be there for you and I'll buy you cute little presents for your birthday and I'll do everything I can to be a good friend, even though I am rubbish at texting, you just kind of have to, it's kind of a package deal, you've got to deal with that part of me too. Um, to then realise that that friend isn't giving as much as you are, it stings, but in the long run, I'm going to feel better for it because I'm getting rid of like, the bad vibes and hopefully now available to attract better ones, which I think is true. I've noticed a shift in my mindset recently since I've kind of been surrounding myself with more positive people who are like my kind of people, you know, who give me the same time of day that I give to them. Does that make any sense? <laughs> I always feel like I babble on that much in this video. I kind of forget what I'm saying myself. So yeah, that's just the nature of these Raw Wednesdays, right? Um, what else? So, do you sometimes feel alone working in an office? Yes, all the time. I actually went out for lunch yesterday and that'll be the last time I can go out for lunch for a while because obviously we can't go to restaurants and stuff now. Um, but I went for lunch with my friend and she's now, well, she always has kind of understood the nature of my job. I was out for an hour and a half and she was like, I need to go to the shop, but you need to go home, right? And I was like, yeah, I need to go and do some work. As much as I would have loved to just stay out and chat with my friend all day, I would have had to make up the time even later on. So yeah, I went out for lunch with my friend and it made me realize that I need to do that more often. I am such an introvert and so happy in my own company most of the time that I can easily sit and spend many days in my house, <laughs> probably by myself. If I didn't live with my parents, I would literally be alone the whole time. And it doesn't really bother me. It takes maybe like two or three days for me to realize, oh, I've not actually left the house yet. Um, so yeah, I get really lonely when that kind of kicks in, when the realization happens that I've not seen anyone, but probably not to the extent that some more sociable people do. 
and now I've sort of I've joined kickboxing class again I've started martial arts I'm very happy about it so it means that every Monday Wednesday and Thursday I've got to leave the house I've got to socialize I've got to go let me anger out and punch things and it's really nice to go and get some fresh air and get like my body moving because otherwise I'm just sat in this chair on my desk doing nothing being lonely so yeah conclusion of that I need to get out more often um and I need to fill my weekends up I think that is just the conclusion of this weekend this weekend this video wow my brain stopped working okay last question which I thought was quite interesting it says do you feel successful career and or general life and at what point did or will you feel successful so I okay let's start with general life I had or have still sort of this mindset of like when I have a house everything will be okay but that's not the case um I sort of set myself this big goal of having my own house and then I'll feel happy I'll have my own house and things will be okay but that's not how things work um because in previous situations I've thought oh when I get my dream car things will be great I've reached my goal I'll be happy but then there's always another goal so it's kind of hard to I've not, well not hard, I'm kind of trying to teach myself that a thing or an end goal isn't the key to happiness, it's the journey along the way that you need to consciously make happy because you're going to reach that goal that you've always wanted and then eventually you're going to want to strive for something else so you can't rely on having that one thing as your end game, you know, like you can't rely on that to bring you happiness. I that's very deep actually. I'm trying to teach myself to enjoy the process rather than waste my time away trying to think and imagine what it's going to be like. Although manifesting things is good, I like to visualise my goals. I don't want to put all my happiness into achieving that goal and it to be perfect and all that. So I suppose that's kind of life wise. Work wise, I don't think anyone ever feels like they are successful in work, ever even in life it's, it applies both ways I feel like you get the thing that you've always been dreaming of and then you just look to the next thing I think it's just human nature to always want better and more I suppose it's like a greed thing in a way um so career wise for me it was a big deal to be able to work in my office and have an office but now I'm like right I've got an office I want my own house with a bigger office um, and I have the goal of hitting 100,000 100, subscribers, which has been my goal since the very start. But I know as soon as I hit that, it'll be like celebration and then it'll kind of be like, oh, well, what now? Like nothing's really changed. What's my next goal? And I push myself further. I think that's just my nature and probably a lot of people's nature and how we humans are. Um, so answer to the question, I don't feel successful, um... I feel happy and I feel like that's the main thing and I probably should get better at writing down my goals so I have something to work towards but in the same sense I don't like writing down my goals and then not achieving them in the time frame that I expected because then I feel worse. So I am just living each day as it comes. If I get a cool job opportunity, amazing, I'll be on top of the world, but then I have to go back to my normal email writing, editing my life away, nine to five creativeness. So not everything's kind of, not everything brings that success feeling, you know? You just kind of get stuck in your day-to-day -day life. All right, I don't even know if that was a proper answer <laughs> for a question, but I'm gonna leave this here because it's gonna get very long if I carry on babbling on. So yeah, um, I hope you've enjoyed this little Raw Wednesday video. It's been nice to just sit and chat, unfiltered, raw and honest as always. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and there'll be another video up tomorrow and Friday. So set your alarms, 5pm, English, GMT, British time. <laughs> wow, I need to shut up. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching guys and I'll see you for tomorrow's video. Bye.